American comedian, television producer, screenwriter, actor, as well as a voice actor, Raymond Albert Romano, was born on the 21st of December, 1957, in Queens in New York City, and is probably best known for portraying the character of Raymond Barone in the popular television series called Everybody Loves Raymond. The show debuted on television screens in 1996 and aired its final ninth season in 2005. Based on Romano's real-life experiences, the show gained a lot of public exposure and interest as it finished its run with an audience of 17.4 million viewers in its last season. So, just how rich is Ray Romano as of mid-2017? Celebrity.money estimates that Ray's net worth is over $140 million, accumulated during a career in the entertainment industry, which began in the late 1980s. A significant contribution was made by his starring in Everybody Loves Raymond, ending with a reputed $1.7 million per episode, close to $20 million per series in its latter stages. Ray's ancestry is mostly Italian, but also French. His mother, Lucy, was a piano teacher and his father an engineer and a state agent. Ray matriculated from Hillcrest High School and then enrolled at Queens College studying accountancy, but from which he didn't graduate at the time. Still, he worked in banking for a period until Romano's career in entertainment began in 1989 when he was seen in the TV show Johnny Walker Comedy Search, after which he appeared in Star Search and The Late Show with David Letterman. Soon, Ray received an opportunity to star in his own semi-reality series called Everybody Loves Raymond, which was loosely based on his personal life. The show not only inspired the creation of several other versions of the series, including the Russian, British, Dutch, and Polish ones, but also managed to win an Emmy, Screen Actors Guild, and Writers Guild of America Award. In addition, Ray reprised the role of Ray Barone in several other television series, including The King of Queens with Kevin James, Cosby starring Bill Cosby, The Nanny with Fran Dusher, and Daniel Davis and Becker. Ray Romano also starred in The Last Word with Wes Bentley and Winona Ryder, Hannah Montana with Miley Cyrus and Funny People. All helped raise his net worth. Romano's acting skills have helped him earn roles in other television projects too, such as The Knights of Prosperity, The Office, and The Middle. In 2009, Romano debuted his own comedy drama series called Men of a Certain Age, in which he co-starred alongside Andre Brower and Scott Bakula. Even though the show was canceled after two seasons, it was met with positive critical reviews and even won a Peabody Award. Ray Romano's contributions to the entertainment industry have been acknowledged with a People's Choice Award, American Film Institute, as well as Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Awards. Ray has also delved into voice acting territory, in particular for Manny, the woolly mammoth in the animated film Ice Age in 2002 and subsequently reprised in four film sequels stretching to 2016. Romano has more recently starred as Hank Rizzoli in the television comedy drama series called Parenthood, adding to his over 20 appearances in TV productions and to his net worth. Aside from acting, Ray has appeared in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and The Price is Right, plus The Haney Project on the Golf Channel, aimed at improving various celebrities' golfing skills. In his personal life, Ray has been married to Anna Scrapula since 1987, and they have four children, all having guest starred in Everybody Loves Raymond. Anna overcame breast cancer in 2010. Ray is also a keen poker player, taking part in the World Series of Poker several times during the last 10 years.